In this question, you had to deal with the fact that in the ISIND model, an increase in government spending leads to a decrease in investment spending in the medium to long run. And if you look at your ISID model, we move from point 0.1 to point 0.2, which is our short-term equilibrium position, and then you move to point 0.3, which is your medium to long run position. In your answer, you have then to concentrate on why is it that investment spending decline when there's an increase in government spending. Now, one short way to look at this is to say, if I increase government spending in the model, there's an increase in aggregate demand, which then leads to an increase in the level of output. As the level of output increases, it leads to an increase in the demand for money on the financial market, which then increases my interest rate. Now, as the interest rate increases, we have a decrease in investment spending. But because output has increased, increased, there is an increase in investment spending. So we are a bit unsure what is the end result on investment spending. It can either go down, up, or stay the same. Now, to get to this result, you need to go from the short run to the medium to long run. And what happens here on the labor market is that the expected price level is lower than the actual price level, which in this case at point two is P2. Workers will then bargain for the increase in the nominal wage, which then spills over into an increase in the price level. And now the impact on the investment will become clear. As the price level increases in the economy, you have a decrease in the real money supply, which then leads to an increase in the interest rate. And this increase in the interest rate leads to a decrease in investment spending. So we're now moving on this curve to 0.3. And also the decline in output, which you can see here, also leads to a decline in investment spending. So it is clear that investment spending is busy to decline. This is called the crowding out of private investment spending. Crowding out is where increase in government spending replaces investment spending by the private sector. And if you go back to the unit on the goods market, where we dealt with the Constraints on fiscal policy, this was one of the reasons we mentioned that there's possible uh, that there is a crowding out effect in the economy.